All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I want to show you six photos before we get to our main video of the UFO that let something release from it. I want to show you six photos that I thought were pretty interesting. I do not have the complete location and everything of them, but some of them may be familiar to you guys as far as the city backgrounds or something. So let's go ahead and get into this first one. This one right here, when I saw this, I thought it was just a little bit suspect because there's only one photo of this and someone took something this clear we would have more photos of it now like i said a lot of these are going to be suspects i don't have locations time stamps day stamps or anything with it but looking at this i think me personally if i had seen something like this and i don't know what time it was taken and what was going on in these people's minds so that's why i just say some of these are going to be 50 50 but i wanted to show them to you guys because you may have seen them before or you may have heard something about it, it may have been debunked but you can see the classical saucer shape and the three white lights and then a red light underneath that this could be something similar to what people are thinking they see triangular shaped ufos tonight and they could have been circular but wanted to show this to you guys to see if you had any input or had seen this one before this next one i don't know again like i said the timestamp or anything on i'm not going to beat a dead horse by stating that but it does appear to be an older photo and this photo looks somewhat similar to some of the ones we've seen from the 60s before as far as that saucer shape uh, craft it looks like it may have actually two layers or something it does look a little bit thicker than the other ones but it's of course taken in a mountain range as you guys see here don't know the exact area for this but this could be anywhere it could be somewhere in the u.s canada it could be overseas or something like that but i thought it was pretty interesting but they got a pretty clear picture of this ufo and we only have one photo of it so we know sometimes these people see these things they kind of go into a panic which i probably would at that time and snap a quick photo and then this is the only photo we get of it so this is going to be another one that i wanted to show to you guys a little bit clearer a little bit more believable than the first one now this one of course was taken probably between the 50s and 60s it looks more kind of like a negative i don't know what that black spot is um that's right there in the center of it but i know that the saucer is kind of tilting at an edge or kind of tilting at a, at an angle which we see that a lot of these craft a lot of times back in the 80s i thought people were throwing frisbees up in the air and taking pictures of ufos but after hearing bob lazar and stuff talk about it, i realized that a lot of these craft do fly like this and looking at this up close of course since it's not the best photo in the world you can see a little bit of it but you also see there might be some like a hole or some kind of cavity or something in the front of it but if you guys have heard anything about this put this in the comments below as well and now these next photos are going to be photos that were taken in some city environment now if someone else had seen this you would think especially as low flying as this one is there would be more photos of it but it could once again be a one-off so I just want to show this to you guys in case you recognize some of the areas. This one definitely looks like a photo from probably the 70s or something, especially based on the clothing that the guy in the right hand corner and stuff has on. But I could be wrong. It could be early 80s, too. But it's a clear UFO that's out there and the guy down the corner didn't turn around for it. And this is the one photo that we have of this. So makes it pretty interesting. But you can see, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, the sun kind of reflecting off of this craft, too. So it makes it interesting, like some of the ones we've seen today where they see these, they're metallic and the sun kind of reflects off of them. So pretty interesting with this one, too. And then this next one is going to be taken in the city somewhere, too. And it looks to be more just three lights. This could be a triangular shaped UFO, kind of like the first one that I showed where it had the three lights on there. This could be anywhere. This could be downtown Manhattan or something. But I thought it was interesting with just those three lights that are showing there. Someone caught this on film. Could be a, num a number of things. I went in and I tried to kind of enhance the photo just a little bit to see if when I brightened it up. Sometimes when I do that, you can see kind of a shape around the, the object or something. But in this case, I couldn't. So it could be several things with that. It could just be an airplane passing through. Could be... Um, glare from the lights or something like that but i wanted to show this to you some of the photos you guys have probably never seen before and then this next one's going to be interesting this is definitely probably taken at stonehenge and we don't know the date or anything but there's been plenty of photos i've showed them on the channel before about people seeing ufos and people know about paranormal activity happening around stonehenge so this could be another photo that someone saw this and snapped a photo of it or they could have just been in that area and taken a picture 
of the stones and the objects in the area and caught this on camera that's not unheard of too where people are just taking random photos and they get pictures of these craft and this one i think of all of them would be somewhat more believable only because of it looks like it's more of a dated photo and then you can't see it that clear but you can see an object there in the background so all six of these photos are interesting but i wanted to show them to you guys to see if you've seen them before and heard your thoughts or anything about them so if you have put down the comments i'd appreciate that and we're going to get on to the main video now this one's pretty interesting <laughs> i saw this a while back and and that's the full footage of it the video is short you see a craft flying there and it just releases something now there's been speculation about this before that it's probably a drone that someone had up and i've never seen a drone function like this but we don't know what people out there are doing and i don't even have a date on this video i know it's at least 10 years old this video is at the minimum 10 years old it could be a little bit older and it's hard to make out the location of it because the background and focus is more in on the craft and then the video is short so it's just seeing this here this craft releases something and we don't even know what that is it released it could be one of several things that this thing released but you do see kind of like the hatch opening up underneath it and there's been tons of jokes maybe it was a cow or something like that it could have been something from the crabs i've heard about certain ufos releasing toxic craft or after they're doing certain things they're kind of releasing some stuff that the crab doesn't need to carry around so that could be the case with this one too i just find this to be very interesting and wanted to show this to you guys in case you've seen this before heard about it or if it's been debunked like i said before i can't always figure out what's going on a lot of this stuff so i do depend upon you guys and it's a community thing to figure out what's real and what's not real and what people are kind of trying to falsify there but this is kind of the close-up of it does kind of disappear for a quick second but if you look at it closely you see this guy is trying to focus in on it then all of a sudden it does look like the hatch kind of opens up a little bit more and then it releases something so pretty interesting stuff wanted to show this to you guys so put your comments down below what you think about this video and what you think about the first six photos too if you've heard anything about them they've been debunked or if there's links go ahead and put that in i'll make sure they're enabled so you guys can put links there so don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for the next video as always i appreciate you guys watching